Welcome Tamago Nation and today I will be attempting to make the ramen fried rice. Okay guys, we have finished cooking the ramen fried rice and I really really hope this works so without further ado, let us take it open 3, 2, 1, let's go! Oh damn, look at the smoke! <gasps> this is amazing, this is really really amazing but this is kind of like a carbohydrate overload it's like noodle plus rice it is way too much of carbs so i actually prepared two pieces of tonkatsu, uh, tonkatsu here so i'm gonna eat it together with this ramen also and ramen fried rice also so let me just show you the tonkatsu that i actually make and the reason why i want to i i am doing this is because next week we are the next video that we're gonna release is gonna be a katsudum video. So I'm actually trying to make a really thick cut of katsu. So this is my experiment. I'm just gonna see whether or not they are cooked. This one I boiled the pot before I actually fry it, deep fry it, and as you guys can see, it is actually cooked. But this one. I didn't boil it before I cook, so I'm really curious to see whether or not this is cooked or not. So let's go and check it out. Okay, perfectly cooked. Very amazing stuff. So I'm just gonna cut this up real quick before I eat it with my amazing ramen fried rice. It is gonna be amazing. Ooh. <laughs> Oh damn, this is so tough. Okay, let me just... How am I gonna plate this properly? I don't know man, like plate it on top. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Damn, look at this bad boy here. Damn, how am I gonna eat this? Okay. Here comes the eating time, okay? We're gonna test the pork first and after that we're gonna test the fried rice. Let's go. Mmm. That damn. It's so good. Wow. Next video, I'm gonna cook it with a more a cut that is a little bit more fat this one is good but it's a little bit dry so more fat equals a little bit more moist which is gonna it's gonna be better I'm not gonna lie now ramen fried rice oh first bite damn wow the flavor is intense wow love i think it is because i put quite a lot of sesame oil while the sesame is overblowing the the, the other flavor entirely let me just <laughs> put down the the tonkatsu here it is not <laughs> easy to eat with the tonkatsu on top let's go mm. oh man this is so good love the flavor i honestly i feel like i might have put too much rice on this thing because the flavor i only use one flavoring packet so i don't think it was supposed to i don't think it is able to fully give the entirety of the ramen fried rice the, the full flavor that it deserves but it is still really really nice 
I have to I have to give my thanks to Dubi Dubab for introducing me to this amazing recipe. I mean, in in the future, I'm definitely gonna make this for for my friends to try, and they're gonna be wow, ramen and fried rice. What a weird combination. I mean, like Uncle Roger, if you're watching this, <laughs> this is sacrilegious. I know, you know, it's like fried rice plus ramen, weirdest combination ever. But try it, Uncle Roger. It is gonna be, it is gonna blow your mind. Mm. This goes so good. Okay, so I'm not. I'm just gonna enjoy my meal. You guys can go ahead uh, to click away from this video, or you guys can just sit here and watch me watch me finish this. Up to you, okay. But I'm here, just gonna enjoy it. If I can finish this in maybe five minutes, you need to click that. You need to hit that subscribe button. And you also need to crack the like button down below. Mm. So good, man. Sugoi. Subarashi. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
I have overestimated myself. I cannot finish this at all. <laughs> that is all for the video. If you enjoy what you see here, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, like this video, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Let me know in the comment section below what other food do you want to see me try, and I'll be trying them in the next one. Goodbye.